Yo, what's up guys? Your boy Chris here of 1980-something Co. Coming at you with another unboxing, unpackaging, mail day video where everything that you see here, at least the majority of it, is going to be on the website 1980somethingco.com. <laughs> so, let's get into the mail. We got a lot of it. Another IKEA bag full of stuff that I'm excited to rip open. Uh, I, o I opened up some stuff already. Um, this was on Sunday after Virtual Flea. I was on a live, the live after party of Virtual Flea with the Vintage Wiz. Opened up a box and showed a bunch of stuff and sold one thing out of that box. It was a really cool Chick-fil-A shirt. I may be able to pop it up somewhere right here. But uh, that was a really cool shirt that sold. But the other contents of that box are mixed up in here with the packages. So I'll let you know when I come across those. Without any further ado, let's get to it. All right, so the first tee is one of the ones that was from that box. And look at how sick this thing is. XL, and it's a Smashing Pumpkins tee. 90 Smashing Pumpkins tee. Uh, I'm not sure what this writing is up here. I think it might be Hebrew because then the back has outrageous alternative grunge rockers of the 90s in Hebrew. And it has just a list of uh, 90s bands and written in Hebrew. So this is a super duper banger right here. Love that. All right, now let's get into these packs that I haven't opened yet. All right, this first one is from Undead Stock, the homie Undead Stock, the homie Mark. And first thing in here I see is, uh, all right, so it's a nice thick one. First thing we got is this uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Austin 316. Religious parody. It's like a parody of a parody because like Austin 316 is a parody, but like John 316 is a parody of that parody. And then on the back it says, heaven yeah, hell no. And then it's got the Bible scripture on the bottom. So dope. Love this one. Uh, that's one that I picked up after Virtual Flea. I didn't even claim it right there, right then and there as we were chopping it up. Uh, this is one that I bought from him as well. Um... Big fan of uh, movie tees from like 2005 to 10. Uh, just the time when I was like, had my own place out of high school, watching a lot of movies, just hanging out with friends. Beowulf was one of them. This is a movie that a lot of people don't really talk about. When I bring it up to people, they don't, they've never seen it, but this movie is rad, dude. It's all CGI. One of the first like all CGI adult movies that I can remember. And that movie was super badass. Beowulf is a badass in that movie. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. Oh, this is one that he brought, for, he sent over for my son. Just bring it, The Rock. Thanks, Mark. I really appreciate that. My son's gonna be styling in that. And then, uh, oh, he brought, he sent two for the kiddo. What? 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 And then Austin 316 on the back. Super duper sick. All right, next pack. This one is from Agus. So this is from Indo Vintage, a virtual flea favorite. Kills it every time he's on. And. Dropping tees. So right here we got, this is a uh, Betty Boop as Jennifer Aniston, I believe. So Jennifer Aniston did this Rolling Stone cover and there's a parody of that. That's a straight biz anger. Got the Forrest Green, Kermit the Frog. Forrest Gump parody by the Muppets. Super duper sick. And the last thing in here is one that, this is one of the ones, so we'll have some tees that we show, some tees we save for the end. And this one right here, we'll save for the end because that thing's a banger. This is from someone who knows how to tape their shit really well. So shout out you for the extra added security that you gave to this box. <clears throat> now I know some of you are watching this and are saying, there's easier ways to open things, Chris. <laughs> and you're probably right. But when you're in front of the camera, and you're improvising. I don't really think about that, but it's all good. Here we go. So last video I said that I had bought a couple of uh, these shirts, the Medea shirts. Uh, so this is the other one. They didn't come for the last video in time for that one. So they didn't come in time for the last video. So here we go with that one. I explained that one on the last vid. And then the other tee that came with that is, I love when I just forget the tees that I buy. Oh, okay. Really dope movie tee, 1408 psychological thriller the dolphin hotel invites you to stay in any of its stunning rooms except one 1408 starring john cusack 
and Samuel L. Jackson. Brrr. Drop a comment if you've seen that flick. What do you think about it? What's the review on that? Let me know what you guys think. Oh, it's another one from Undead Stock. I was shopping from the boy, I guess. All right. And this is a 300T. Damn, I just sniped a couple of these today, too. And then I get this one. So this is really cool. Got Leonidas on the front hit right there. And then on the back. Stand, fight, and die. So dramatic. I love that. My movie's badass. If you've never seen that movie, you're really missing out. Oh, this is another banger right here. This was from the box that I opened up on uh, the live with Wiz earlier in the week. So this is not going to be unboxed. And I'm also not going to show it to you just yet. We're going to save that one for the end. But in that box as well was this Rap Attack shirt. So sick. This is a real rap to you guys. Get a good look at that. Jurassic Park size lodge. <clears throat> All right, opening up a pack. Opening up a pack. Here we go. This one is from the homie. Damn, sick. This is from the homie Vintage Dreamer. And check out this really dope sticker that came with it. It's Uma Thurman and Pulp Fiction. That's fire. Yep, yep. Throwing that up. And then from him, I got this really cool Oprah Winfrey shirt. I've had this one before in a 2XL. This XL, though, might have to hold on to it. We're going to try it on, see how that feels. But damn, this thing is sick. Oprah the Eccentric. All right, here's another one from that box that I opened up on Wiz's Live. And this one's really cool. It's a nice little tie-dye liquid blue, what you come to expect from them. Nice, crazy graphic. Definitely printing outside the lines. You see the big liquid blue graphic in the back in the ocean right there where all the wh whales are. Dated 92. But I just love like that it says liquid blue on the front. Single dingle. You never really see a liquid blue spell out. Actually, you never do. The white liquid blue tag, the one that you definitely want to have. All right, up next we got something from Loose Change Apparel. I forget what this is. Oh, I, okay, I got this off uh, the website, Tea Time Vintage website. Uh, so these two scoops I'm really hyped on. So this is a really dope Dizzy shirt, Dizzy Gillespie. Super sick. I love that graphic, him blowing the, the bubble like that. And then with it came this shirt that I've always wanted, man. I hope this fits much bigger. Okay, yeah, it is an XL. <whistles> Bro, big fan of Big Pun, homie. And I got the Big Pun shirt wow on the big pun tag so this is probably going to be like a shirt from it's made in usa so that's a good sign it's probably going to be like late 90s early 2000s man big pun one of the greatest rappers of all time rest in peace died way before um way before he should have man he was definitely going to have a big fruitful career ahead of him big pun everybody there was some hearts up in the comments comment your favorite song this guy was insane with the freestyles just presence insane all right um next pack dude i'm still hyped on that big pun hell yeah okay cool uh up next we got this one from brody's vintage brody's vintage he came on on the vsn which is a vintage shopping network it's another live that i do uh kind of similar to virtual flea except that um it's just free range so i can have anybody on there for as long as i'd like but most importantly, we talk about different events going on in the community. So like if somebody got some crazy ass finds, we talk about that. We talk about just different things that happen in the community. That's pretty much what Vintage Awards is all about. If you've seen my Vintage Awards video on this channel, uh, you know what I'm talking about. If not, go check that video out. But check it out. It's a Where's Waldo shirt. It's on the Juanita tag, single dingle. This one's really dope because uh, it's like Waldo's family. And I'm not really sure... Was this an animated series? I feel like it was. It's ringing a bell. But where's Waldo? Oh, here's another one. This is a loose article in here from that same box that I opened up already previously. Really dope Batman all over print. This thing's sick. Got the back hit too. <whistles> Shit's fire. Up next. We have, we have, what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, yes. A nice XL Jedi versus the Sith wraparound. So right here, it's got quotes that the Jedi would say. I have a bad feeling about this. This is like definitely what Obi-Wan says in the movie. And then right here on the rib hit, it says, 
a sense of disturbance in the force and it says versus and then you follow it around to the back and you got the sith you got darth maul and his quotes move against the jedi first such a rad tee good colors on that love that one this next one is from blair oh this is from b steed b steed and b steed i copped the ipod shirt what that thing is sick i think therefore ipod fire dude so fire remember ipods when you just navigate through that thing with just a little wheel All right, our loose article from the box. Ash. Kiss my ash. Uh, why did I say ash? It's because I read the back first, but you guys haven't read the back yet. I'm going to get to that in just a sec. Kane. Dude, sick Kane T. Fire Kane T. Definitely a, a wrestler that you don't really see his T's too much. So pure evil, it says. Fiery front Kane hit. And then on the back, kiss my ash fire on the triple a tag insane man this is a really good mail day so far i'm hyped getting in another pack Let's see this is paper why is this so hard to open it's one of those weird slippery thick papers that never wants to open i don't get it all right, come on, you could do it. Come on, Chris. All right, that's it. Uh, honey, can you bring me my chainsaw? There we go. All right. This one is from David. It's got a little card in here. And the card says, Thanks again, Chris. I really appreciate it all. Much love, David Jiggy Vintage Co. With the sick little illustration of me. I'm pretty sure that was that's a portrait of me. Thank you very much, Jiggy Vintage Co. Let's see what we got from Jiggy Vintage Co. Jiggy Vintage Co. We got a little Matrix shirt with the chest hit. Any Matrix is good Matrix. It's on the QT's tag, Made in USA. Dope little chest hit, dated 99. Dope. Uh, this, oh, this is a loose article from that box. And this is a Smashing Pumpkins. The world is a vampire. <laughs> XL on the Toltex tag with the back hit. Nicely faded, no holes, just some wear to the graphic and a really nice fade. 1996 smashing pumpkins <laughs> hyped on that one the world is a vampire De -de 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 -de. all right up next this is from 96 vent 96 vent with some dope stickers oh there's a note on one of them it says appreciate you chris nwo is for the little man to grow into lol thanks 96 underscore Vent. This is the homie Marley right here. Uh, so NWO is for the little man. So let's see where the NWO. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. And thank you, bro. Deadstock with the tags. NWO for the little woe. All right. This is the one that I copped. Bewitched. Never see Bewitched tees. This is really dope. It's like a nice little ringer. Dope graphic. I love that graphic. If you guys know what Bewitched is, it's like an old school show where uh, this girl was a witch. And uh, this is a, sh a shirt for it that you just never see. So, had to scoop that. <clears throat> okay, up next. Uh, this is from Jack. Damn clothes, the Boston homie. The Boston homie. I've been picking up a lot of Batman lately. Mostly a lot of Dark Knight stuff. But pretty much all the Batman. Just kind of an anticipation for the new Batman reboot movie that's going to be coming out very, very soon. I'm hyped for that. And so this is a really cool on screen stars Batman t-shirt all over print just all kind of bats all over it dated 1988 super cool uh, This one here is on the Juanita tag. I've always loved this graphic every time I see it It's always max price But Jack had this one for a good price I had to go and pick that up 
you got your Michael Keaton Batman, you got the orange and the purples and the beautiful colors, you got that super memorable Batmobile down there at the bottom just jetting through, I remember that Batmobile because I remember like as a kid just when it would like get the metal shield over it whenever it would park like uh, on Batman Returns when it like goes into a dead end and then like a platform comes out from under it and makes it do a 360 and br brings it back down then he drives out of the alley just super nostalgic for me man this particular bat batmobile man that's the batmobile for me right there no matter what how many batmobiles you show me that is the batmobile for me personally all right and then down here at the bottom it's got the stats for the batmobile so the specifications engine type is a jet turbine Thrust is 1,500 pounds at 103% ROS. Torque, zero to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. Top speed is unknown. Brake rating is excellent. I mean, what, what do you wanna know about this, bro? What do you wanna know about the Batman? You wanna know about the tires? High aspect L6015, okay? Fuel requirement, high octane 97% special. Uh, special equipment, retractable protective armor. That's the armor I was telling you about. Weapon system, instruments, ac aircraft type with onboard computer. <laughs> I love that shirt, dude. That's sick. All right, and this is the last pack of the day. Oh, this one is from End of the World Vintage. Damn, look at that, dude. And uh, like I said, I'm just collecting movies that remind me of, you know, that time when my first apartment, hanging out with friends. Uh, this is from, there we go, some cool stickers, End of the World Vintage. Shout out End of the World. He, who will also be a vendor this, uh, this weekend on Virtual Flea. He's gonna be a vendor this Sunday. He did a crazy trailer for his set, and I'm really excited for what he has because he's got a bunch of movie tees. So if you're hyped up about movie tees and just grails in general, uh, make sure you tune in for his set. And you can go on to virtualflea.market to see all the vendors involved and their set times but this is a movie that i used to watch religiously back in the day such a cool movie so action-packed smoking aces so this is a shirt you won't see on the website because this is for your boy smoking aces right there you got uh jeremy piven that is uh alicia keys you got ryan reynolds in there common the tremor brothers <laughs> Yo, this is a sick tee, and it's like in excellent condition, too. It's like brand new. Uh, he saw me. Um, I wanted this shirt on the virtual flea. I think the dude that I was going to get it from had it in a large, and I needed the XL. And uh, he hit me up after, my, after that set and just said, yo, I have it in the XL. So I scooped that up immediately. Um, and that's going to be it. Oh, wait, the pieces that I put aside, right? The ones that I put for the end. All right, so this is one of the loose articles from that box that I opened, and it's a size large. Blue Grape, Friday the 13th. This is the graphic that you want to have. This thing's insane, just big on the T. And then on the back hit, Made in Hell. So crazy. So that one will definitely be on the website. Size large this weekend. And this one right here is one of those ones that's just so special to me. I've said on other episodes, I really love the NASCAR collabs with different things was like nascar batman nascar superman nascar mcdonald's nascar skittles nascar looney tunes and it's just like there's the nascar uh powerpuff girls that's really dope too but this one right here man it's a size large i thought it was an xl i could have swore he said xl but you know what honestly it's like i could tell by the like it's in dead stock condition so that's probably why he thought it was an xl um this is a uh, mad racing so I don't even think this is NASCAR actually. Yeah, it's NHRA, so they have different cars, but uh, it's a different type of uh, race. But still, dude, the race car with Mad on it. Oh, you even got your Spy vs. Spy up here. <laughs> Man, I could tell this is going to fit me, though. I really could tell. And then you got that crazy back hit. Alfred, P. New Alfred E. Newman. I forget what his name is. But yeah, that Mad character. <laughs> this is so sick. I hope um, it doesn't shrink when I wash it. I definitely want to keep this one. Dated 98. Driver Jerry Tolliver. Really dope. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All this stuff is going to be on 1980somethingco.com. Unless like a couple things that I'm going to decide to keep. But you could get everything there. 
Also, join me every weekend, Saturday and Sunday on my Instagram, 1980somethingco. For the virtual flea, you can catch all the vendors and the times that they go live with me on my Instagram on our website, virtualflea.market. Thank you guys so much for wa watching. Time for me to go throw this up on the website. You guys go buy it. Peace, 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 peace. I'm out. I'm out of here.